how to connect multiple IP cameras to a PoE MVR by using a fiber optic cable. The client has five IP cameras at the edge. That's about 300 meters between those cameras and the PoE MVR. He knew he can use the PoE standards to repeat the PoE and connect all these cameras back to this PoE MVR by using the KFIE Ethernet cables. But there's too many cables he doesn't want to deal with. So he used the fiber optic cable, he put the PoE switch at the edge and connect all these cameras to this PoE switch and he put the media converter next to this PoE MVR and connect this media converter to one of the PoE ports at this PoE MVR. But he met the issues. He saw only one camera on the window, he cannot see the rest of the four cameras. So what's the problem? Now let's move to the demonstration board and stimulate this case and find a solution for this case. Before we get into the detail, I want to say we do have the free online courses. I've put the link below, it's completely free. The client has five IP cameras and I took two IP cameras to demonstrate. Those cameras are connected to this PoE switch. There's SFP slot which allows me to work with the fiber optic cable. I just want to point out we do need the SFP transceiver to work with the fiber optic cable. This is the single mode pre make fiber optic cable. The connector is built in the factory with the pulling eyes. The cable is connected to the media converter and the media converter will convert the optical signal to the electrical signal. And the output is connected to one of the PoE ports on this PoE MVR. Let's take a look at the monitor. We saw the video one camera on the first window, but we didn't see another camera. Somehow it makes sense, right? We have connected the cable to one of the PoE ports and we saw the video on the corresponding window. But the client argued he saw some guys doing almost the same setup on the YouTube. He connected all the eight cameras at the edge to a PoE switch and he also used the media converter to connect to his PoE MVI and he saw all those IP, IP cameras on the window. I'm, go I'm going to explain why it's not working for his PoE MVI and why it's working on the guy on the YouTube on another video. But first, let me give you the solution. The simple solution is replace this PoE MVI with the regular MVI. There's no PoE port, it's just the regular MVI. Let's re remove all the connection to this new MVR. First, let's power it up and then uh, use the HDMI cable to connect the output of this new MVR. And also, pull the cable to connect the, to this LAN port. I know I'm supposed to use a switch or router and connect this cable to the router instead connect to this LAN port. But just for demonstration purpose, it's pretty much the same. Okay, next I still need one mouse to operate this MVR. Let's right click and use the quick set and log in and cancel and click search. Let's search again. Now we do see two IP addresses. These two IP addresses belong to, to these two IP cameras. Let's click and hit add. Now we are seeing the first camera. And we do need the second camera to the second channel. Okay. All right, we saw both cameras. Let's switch to, we do see two cameras on the monitor, right? So the, this is the simplest solution. So why it's not working? Let's move back to the whiteboard and explain why it's not working for his case. Why client setup doesn't work is because how the MVRs decided. I have two POA MVRs. First, let's take a look at the design. The one on the right has just one motherboard, the PoE switch and the MVR are highly integrated. With this design, the MVR will detect the connection on the PoE switch 
and assign the IP address to this camera and establish the connection automatically. The design on the left has two motherboards. This is the PoE switch. This is the NVR. You may need to manually add the camera to the NVR just like what I have done in the setup. But the downside for this setup is the PoE ports only allow one IP addresses to pass through. Remember the client has five IP cameras at the edge and connect to the PoE switch, then a media converter and connect to one of the PoE ports. That's the reason why he just saw one cameras. So the simplest solution is just like what we have done. We replace the PoE switch with this regular switch. So all the cameras can pass through this LAN port and we saw the cameras on the window. But the client doesn't want to change his PoE switch. He still wants to use the PoE NVR. He's thinking just add another switch at the edge and probably connect this Ethernet port to the PoE port on this PoE NVR. Will it work? We'll find out in the part two.